Hello friends, this video on preposition part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about object to a preposition. So what do you think is object to a preposition? The words which come after the preposition act as object to the preposition. Now as we know that preposition show relationship between words they show relationship between a noun and a verb or a noun and a noun or a noun and an adjective and so on but whatever words that appear after the preposition is the object so let us look at few examples so our first example is he lives in Bangalore so here which is the object so first let's find out which is the preposition so preposition is in right now the words after preposition is object so we are talking about this fellow him and he lives where he lives in Bangalore so Bangalore here is the object let's move on to the next example distribute the sweets among the students so here among is the preposition to be more precise it is a compound preposition and which is the object words after the preposition that is the students the students is the object in this sentence now object to be to a preposition could be a noun now it is not necessary that object to a preposition has must be a noun always but yes one possibility is that it could be a noun for example in this sentence the book is lying on the table so on is the preposition and the table is the object so here the object is a noun if you look at one more example she is in the room so here in is the preposition and the room is object so room again is a noun so these are some examples where the object to the prepositions are nouns however object to a preposition could also be a pronoun for example the teacher was staring at them so here at is the preposition and the words after at is them so them is a pronoun but in this case them is also the object to the preposition so object to a preposition could also be a pronoun for example did he hide behind you so here behind is the preposition so you which is a pronoun is the object here so as I said nouns could be the object pronouns could be the object in fact a clause could also be an object so I hope you all remember what is a clause clause again is a group of words which which has some meaning and which also has a subject and a predicate however it is not a complete sentence clause is just a part of the sentence but that part of the sentence also has a, a subject and a predicate of its own let us look at this example there is no point listening to what she says so in this case to is the preposition and the words after to that is what she says is a clause so basically here the object to the preposition is what she says and at the same time we find that what she says is a clause correct so we can say that uh, the object to a preposition could also be a clause I am sorry for what I did so here for is the preposition and object for this preposition is what I did and what I did is a clause so you know you can get plenty of examples for each of these but with one or two examples what I'm trying to uh, show is you know the object to a preposition could be a noun it could also be a pronoun it could also be a clause and it could also be an adverb for example she should have reached by now so here by is the preposition and now is an adverb so the adverb here acts as the object so there is no such limitation that the object always has to be a noun because a lot of students feel that you know mostly prepositions are placed before noun right therefore they feel that it is a must that the the object has to be a noun but in many sentences we see that the sentences are rearranged in such a way that the prepositions are placed before a clause or the prepositions are placed before adverbs or they are placed before pronouns so object to prepositions also play a very critical role your carelessness can't continue forever 
So here for is the preposition and ever acts as an object and ever here is also an adverb. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.